Hey there, fellows. You remember this wonderful tractor right here? We did a few things to it to make it more interesting and fun to drive. And overall, it turned out to be a pretty curious thing. We had quite some fun with it. But now is definitely no time to retire it. We don't want it to sit there and do nothing. Now, we keep receiving video snippets of this sort, depicting screw-propelled vehicles that people put together to rip around in. And watching them testing their off-road ability, I have to say, this is some really serious equipment. Really good for gnarly terrain, going over swamps, rivers and such. For driving pretty much anywhere, you wouldn't be able to take a normal car. And so an idea occurred to us. Since this thing is pretty much already prepared for it, well, I mean, it used to be on tracks, of course, but now I say we get all hands on deck, convert it to screw propulsion and see how effectively that works, how easy it is to control. I am very curious to find out how one of those is going to drive. So why don't we do the conversion and try it out then? Let's do this. We convert a lot of to screw propulsion and go for a drive. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. All right, so the build is coming along nicely. We are slowly but surely progressing with the conversion. Now about the pipes. Well, yeah. We just couldn't find the right pipes for the project. We were looking everywhere and this diameter, as it turned out, is usually very thick-walled, which makes them extremely heavy. And so instead we've decided to go with these drums. Now the thickness of the material that these drums are made of, the wall thickness on these is pretty… let's just say that it's not tin foil by any means. And though the metal isn't as thick as we'd like, we do hope that welding on the spiral blade is gonna help to reinforce them. And by a pretty significant margin. Because what we intend to weld on, it's gonna be made out of a few metals and therefore so rigid that… We should be all right. Over here we've welded on a few differentials, one of which we flipped around. The other one is on straight. That's because when the thing will be moving forward, the drums will be rotating towards each other. That's for the car. I mean the screw-propelled vehicle to drive forward without tearing itself apart. In reverse, they'll be spinning the other way. Well, obviously. Okay, now we need to set up the brakes. Wait a minute, they're already up and running. So yeah, there's no need to even do anything. Sweet. Isn't that nice? But there is... Still one very important matter to tend to. And that is welding on the blades. We were looking into several different options, like steel profile, but none of them seem feasible, so we're going to have to piece something together out of sheet metal. And weld it on. Now, before we continue... Why don't we start it and see how we're doing so far? Okay, well, it works. That's with the transmission in D, right? Can you engage L, please? L, give me L. You want me to throw the transfer case into high? Nah, man, don't put the transfer case into high. Yeah, now we should see some good rotation. Yeah, that is great. But I do think it's a bit too fast. Well, that might be an illusion, of course. We really can't be sure until we begin testing. That's a rocket gear, right? Reverse, I mean. Okay, good. It works, we are good. Okay, now it's time to get to work and finish the job.
Okay, fellas, we've brought the car out into our backyard, where we have got plenty of deep snow to roam around in. Now, the reason we towed it out here is that, well, we did try driving it around at first, but then we looked into it, we did a bit of reading, and it turns out that this type of transport is really not meant for driving around on a hard surface. Doesn't matter whether it's packed snow, ice, pavement or something else. Okay, and right now we're about to see what this thing can do. Let's get at it. All right, let the testing begin. Now, I thought instead of driving it myself, I'd watch it from outside. This should be an interesting spectacle. It is trying to get moving. Come on now. There we go. Oh, look at that. It's actually making some decent progress. If it weren't for the rail, we welded in the back in order to transport it. It's digging in pretty deep, look at that. I'm sure you can even walk in that groove without sinking. Holy cow. Look at it go! Man, it's even slightly better than it was on tracks. What's up? Slowly but... Yeah, slowly but surely. It is making good progress. And now the interesting part. You want me to jump in for a bit more load? <laughs> All right, look at it go. Very nice. Tremendous. It works, look at that. Yes, it does, 107%. Come on now. There we go. Man, look at it go. Yeah, we broke the footpath. Step away. Oh, wow, all right. It appears to be digging itself in. Don't let it dig in even further. That's because this used to be a footpath. Yeah, it was a footpath. Now it appears to be sitting on the frame. And it used to be pretty well packed, too. This is where it made a turn, and so... Yeah, it's effectively sitting on its belly right now. But it was such a cool thing to watch. What's up? Dig! <laughs> this actually worked out pretty well. It was plowing right through. How deep was the snow, by the way? I think maybe knee-deep, so it's not that bad. But the vehicle was going right through, so it's no wonder that they used to make these, given that they actually work. Ours does too! And not everybody believed that it would. Some of us were giving it a 50-50 chance of success or failure. Anyway, now that we drove it all the way to here and got stuck, you see, there used to be a packed footpath here. So as soon as we made it here, the vehicle got stuck on its belly. We tried to rock it back and forth to get it free. And since we were beating on it a bit too hard, we snapped an axle shaft. That is a major bummer, and we have no idea how to get it out of here. But we'll probably think of something. 
And as always, there is some food for thought. We already understand where we made mistakes, but then again, this is our first attempt at such a thing. You know, I think we should continue developing it while it's still winter. I mean, even with relatively small blades, it was really moving along, slowly but without any drama, as you guys would have just seen. Now, I'll tell you guys a bit later what we plan to do with this thing moving forward. We had plenty of time to think it over while we were trying to yank it out, so we'll save that for later. But for now, let's wrap this up. What matters is it drives, and it'll be even better once we do a few modifications. 107%. And that's all I got for you. Stay tuned to see what we have planned, subscribe so you don't miss it. Okay, watch, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later. What?